Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making these really cool marble donuts. I have seen so many different mirror glaze things, and this is kind of like a play on that, except it is way easier. I've seen tutorials on mirror glaze before, and there's like 50 steps to it and you gotta like bring the glaze to a certain temperature and then cool it back down again and then add food color and there's like all these different steps to it so that wind up make it a little bit easier and make these little mirror glaze donuts instead I guess kind of mirror glaze but mostly like mirror marble glaze you could say I guess anyways though they are super cute and they're really easy to do so let's get started first off in a large bowl you'll need two thirds cups of cocoa powder follow that up with one and three quarters cups of flour one and a quarter cups of light brown sugar. And I forgot to show adding in that last quarter cup, but with the magic of video editing, you can't even tell, right? All right, all right. Well, anyways, add in a teaspoon of baking soda, along with a teaspoon of espresso powder. This is optional, but it gives it a really nice deep flavor. Then pop in a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of mini chocolate chips. The mini chocolate chips are so good in this recipe and makes them really fudgy and when the donuts come right out of the oven, they're still kind of like gooey and melty and it's so, so good. Now for our wet ingredients, you'll need 3 quarters cups of milk, along with 2 eggs, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, oh, just kidding, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, and 2 teaspoons of vinegar. Then go ahead and give this all a whisk. And when you're mixing wet ingredients, I always recommend mixing it in a bowl with a spout. This way you can pour it into the dry ingredients really easily and there's no mess. See how easy that is? Anyways though, now you're going to add in one stick of melted butter. Then just grab yourself a spatula and give that all a mix. You'll notice that my batter is really, really dark, and it's because I use the Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa Powder. This isn't sponsored by them, but it does turn the batter kind of black almost, so don't be concerned when they come out looking burned. I promise it's just the cocoa powder. Anyways though, now I'm just going to pipe this into my donut mold. I recommend using a silicone mold so none of those little chocolate chips get stuck. And I'll leave this mold linked in the description box below, it's a really, really good one. Then I'm just going to bake these off at 350 for about 15 minutes or so. Once the donuts have cooled completely, just gently nudge them out from the mold. They should pop out really easily, and one of the things I really like about this donut mold is that it makes nice deep donuts, so it's really easy to dip them later. Now it's time for our dipping. Here I just have some melted candy quick, and I'm dotting over some gel food coloring. Then I'm going to grab a popsicle stick and just kind of marble these together. Now grab your donut and go ahead and just dunk it in. It's that easy and you can see this yields a super pretty design. Now you're just gonna scoop out some of that kind of muddled food coloring. I found that having some stronger spots of food coloring tends to make for a prettier design. However, don't worry about tasting the food dye or anything. Unless you like put a dot of food coloring on your tongue, you're really not gonna taste it. To me, this is kind of like the foodie version of those water marble nails, except I can eat these donuts, but I can't eat my nails. Although I, I did used to bite my nails, I guess. But anyways, you know what I mean. For a different look to your donuts, you can also do this kind of monochromatic look where you pick a solid color and then drizzle on some food coloring of that same color. And this looks super cool too. And then when you're finished, you can always mix the color through, then pour it out onto some wax paper. Wait for the candy coating to set and it should take about 10 minutes or so. Then you can just peel it off the wax paper, break it up into pieces and reuse it as much as you want. Then I'm just going to repeat this for some pink candy coating. And you can see this looks so beautiful, oh my goodness, like a piece of jewelry almost. And then I'm also going to make purple by adding a little bit of blue oil based food color. My art teacher would be so proud that I remember that. And then I'm going to drizzle on some purple food color, give that a little swirl and dip in my donut. I absolutely love how shiny these are right after they're dipped. It just looks so gorgeous, and that's all there is to it. All right guys, our marble donuts are finished now, and these look so cool, oh my goodness. Let me just hold this plate up to show you guys how cool these are. Watch me drop all of these right now. But anyways though, you can see how cool these are. This is like a work of art right here, and honestly, if you're worried about dipping them in candy coating and how it's gonna taste and everything, if you use candy quick, it's like pretty thin, so most of the chocolate melt is gonna drip off the donut anyways, so it's not like you have this like huge bite of candy melts in your mouth. These taste so good, you guys, and I really encourage you all to try these out 
And anyways, I hope you guys, there we go, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe right up there if you haven't already for lots more cute recipes and some more DIYs coming your way too. Also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at Kawaii Sweet Eats. There is so much social media now, like, oh my goodness, I can't keep up with you kids. Anyways though, follow me over there at Kawaii Sweet Eats, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys!